beyond getting yourself set up with solid, reliable web hosting and securing your website and potentially your online business from internet bad guys, your next best defense against bad things happening to your online business website is to regularly back up your website. Frequent website and data backups are your best insurance policy. The good news here, my friend, is that backing up your website is super easy and oftentimes it is free. And if something bad happens, which is certainly within the realm of possibility, then having a recent backup of your website will help you get everything back up and running and online in literally just a few minutes. And believe me, my friend, there's been more than one occasion where I get digging around in the back end of my website, maybe into some areas that I shouldn't be messing with, but I think everything's cool, everything's fine, and then next thing I know, kablamo, the whole website is gone. Thankfully, because I back up my website regularly, I can simply restore my website and be back up and running in minutes, less than two minutes. So with all of this said, here are a few important points about backing up your online business website. First, don't rely on your web hosts backups. Many web hosting companies automatically back up your website. They offer free backups as a part of their service, often at no extra cost, but Honestly, this isn't enough. If their servers, which your live website and your backups all reside, if something happens to that server, if it goes down or if it gets hacked or, I don't know, a family of ferrets decide to move in or something like that, you won't have access to your website backups and you won't be able to restore your website and obviously that is not good. So instead, be sure to use a plugin or some kind of other automated service to automatically pull a copy of your website and store it somewhere else. And this brings us to another important point about website backups. And that is to store your website backups somewhere other than your web server, because again, it could get infested with possums. So storing backups on uh, maybe a cloud-based service like Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that is just fine, or you could download them directly to your computer. That is just fine as well. Just find a system that's gonna work for you. And you know what? Here's something else to remember frequency, how frequently you update your website with new content really should determine how often you should back up your website. So if you're adding new content to your website on a regular basis, you'll probably want to pull more frequent backups, right? On the other hand, if your site doesn't change all that often, maybe you're only updating it you know, on a monthly basis or something like that, then less frequent backups, of course, would be okay. You can either back up your website automatically, or you can set up a website plugin that automates the entire process of backing up your website. And this leads us into something else for you to think about. And that is me urging you to strongly consider some kind of an automated website backup option. There are many free and easy to use solutions available. And the nice thing with an automated backup system in place is that you never have to think about it. It just kind of, you set it and forget it and it runs on its own schedule, which is super awesome. Now, if you're interested, I have a tutorial that walks you through all of this in much more detail. What I'll do is I'll leave some links down below in the show notes for you. In the meantime, where to from here? Well, I've got lots more great stuff ahead for you. Just jump over to 10tononline.com forward slash web, and there you'll find a free business website masterclass that I've set up for you. This is a totally self-paced online class that delves deep into the details on all the critical info you're gonna need to get your online business website set up and running. Bring a notepad, my friend. It is packed with info. Bring a coffee too, and I'll see you there in just a second.